Well, when you have a legacy of being the first, it really can be a lot to live up to. But members of Tennessee State University's aristocratic bands never back down from a challenge. The marching band is getting ready to make their CMA Fest debut. News Channel 5's Erin Cantrell stopped by the band room as they rehearsed for this historic performance. It's the Thank year of celebrations. 50 years of the C CMA Fest, 50 years of hip hop. It's a big 50, it's a big 50 this year. The AOB is no stranger to the party, recently commemorating their 75th anniversary. We call ourselves a band of first, and um, this is an another one that I think that we feel is significant. The legacy continues this week as the Grammy Award winning band Open CMA Festival, becoming the first collegiate marching band to do so. Glad that CMA invited us so that to show that they're open to any type of music that is being played. For us, the AOB to play in a space that is predominantly country, again, just shows that the power of music, no matter what the style is, you know, that the music is at the center of it, the feeling, it's innately human. And I want people to go home and, you know, tell their family, I saw the aristocratic bands, you know what I mean, the band of first. But to uphold the legacy, it takes work, which means hours of rehearsals. Usually everybody's on downbeat, Bang, but when that release is together, then your section is, is cooked. And these band members feel like they're more prepared than ever for CMA Fest. It kind of feels a lot easier, you know what I mean, now that we're here in the summer and that, you know, we don't have the additional stress of classes. Making it easier to continue that AOB legacy. We have a little saying that nothing happens in Nashville without the risk crowd of bands. So, um, you know, this is one of those where I guess that statement is just, just kind of ringing true. In Nashville, Aaron Cantrell, News Channel 5. They're great. Now, the band really isn't taking any time off this month because after CMA Fest, they are headed to Washington, D.C. They have been invited by First Lady Jill Biden to perform and celebrate Juneteenth at the White House.